Hey everybody, Real Fan Man here. Train show hall. Take number two. As you can see, we've got a brand new addition for motor power. SD40-2, Pan Am Railway, Intermountain Railway Company model. A nice new corn syrup car. Only car I found at the train show. New scrap car. Gotta have one of those. And some much needed cement cars for big in cement. So as far as uh, motor power and freight cars, that's what's new right there. Very impressed with that locomotive. Alright. I'll show you what else I got. Stay tuned. Okay, so, um, other things I picked up at the train show is this Winland Scenic Fine Ballast, gray. I got some uh, pump foliage here. For the trees and ground cover certain areas medium ballast gray and I also picked up some of this uh, early fall course nice foliage right there use that for some of the trees I got some of this this guy right here late fall foliage so I had a container of, well I bought a package of this um, which is actually I bought it yeah I bought a package from Bachman last year but it was this color and I'll show you an example so that's what it looks like um, as you know or I've said in other videos I'm going for kind of like a fall look so I'll explain more about that in my update. This is what's left over from the other package that I got <clears throat> last year. And those cement hoppers, the CMEX. Let's see, it's two bay covered hoppers, three different road numbers. First time I've ever owned American Limited. I'm very happy with the models so far, they look really good. So I'm very impressed. As you can see, we're making our way down the helix. We got the passenger train uh, flowing as well. We can't forget our MOW train moving around, cleaning the track. They're working hard on a Sunday. So this locomotive is an Intermountain Railway locomotive, or model. Um, very, very, very nice. Runs very well. Sounds, sounds really great. It's the horn right here. Very impressed with it. Um, unfortunately, there's a... Uh, a little, a little sad news behind this port, um, this purchase, um, and I'll explain that in a minute. It's a nice shot, though. Yeah, very happy with the freight cars too. Got a little bummed that I only got, was only able to get one corn syrup car, but you know what? It's okay. I still have that ADM car too, so I was planning on using them for my Centennial Mills industry and uh, probably a tank car uh, loading and unloading facility. So, all right, let me silence him and um, I'll explain <clears throat> um, the purchase of this locomotive. I did tell Railway to 2020 I wasn't going to buy any locomotives yesterday, but. 
I kind of felt compelled to, for a few reasons. Stand by. So, um, <clears throat> last year at this uh, was it New England Model Train Expo in Marlboro, Mass., um, this gentleman right here, I bought, uh, he was there. Uh, unfortunately, um, first off, he passed away uh, a couple months ago, according to his wife. And um, I also, uh, we were given one of these cards. Um, so this is him. And like I said, he passed away looks like September 27th, 2023, so it's probably a couple months ago. And uh, last year, I believe it was this locomotive I, I purchased off of him. I'm not 100% sure. I want, I want to say it is, but I, I could be wrong. Anyways, his wife was manning the table this year um, at the train show, and uh, she had, she's, she, Steve had, he had a lot of inventory and, um, you know, she's trying to, trying to sell what she can and I believe, well, I believe she was doing pretty good, um, this weekend. I know she was yesterday, so, uh, cause it was, uh, the train show was yesterday and today in Marlboro, Mass. Um, and, but I got this card off of him last year, so. And he was really, really nice guy, um, fair on the prices, and so I did buy, like I said, that SD40-2, because um, you know, I'm, I'm modeling Pan Am and CSX, and, um, but she, she marked down some prices, and, you know, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't say no to $169 for an Intermountain model that you could see was originally priced at $239 so um, even then I probably still would have bought it because it's a really really nice locomotive he has he's got a lot of nice inventory and um, you know I felt in a, in a sense I was helping her out a little bit and I know I'm not the only one so um, but yeah, I'll remember him in, in your prayers, please. And uh, like I said, he was he was a good guy. I mean, I remember him, like I said, from last year when I bought that other locomotive. And so, yeah, but some sad news in a sense, you know. But he doesn't have to suffer anymore. That's that's the one good thing about it, I guess. At least that's what I like to think. Nobody has to suffer when they go, or after they go, they're at rest. But, um, rest in peace, Steve. And, um, prayers to his wife and family that he left behind, so. Anyways, that was the train show haul, and I'll have a separate video, um, for... The train, some of the train videos I took, I'll, I'll post that sometime in the next <clears throat> day or so. Um, I'm hoping to get, hoping to get an update, layout update out today too, and uh, or a layout update slash overview for all my new subscribers. So stay tuned for that, and I also have. An operations uh, set up for the Gardner turn that will be happening probably in the next uh, day or so as well <clears throat> or it's at least sometime this coming week but um, yeah hope you enjoyed any questions comments drop them below please feel free to like share and uh, if you're not subscribed already you know hit, hit that subscribe button as uh, Pappy always says, uh, it don't cost nothing to hit that button. Or something to that effect. <laughs> don't mind me, I just got a million and one things going on in my mind. So, but Anyways, I hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend. Have a great upcoming week. Stay safe. And as always...
Happy modeling. Railfan man, signing out.